Well, what a weekend that was. First off, Magda PAL Canada. It was a really fun event. There was a lot of people pulling. We got to see a lot of great matches. Pretty good event all in all. Um, it's nice to see actual tournaments running again locally where we can all just get together, have a good time. It was a good day overall. overall. That super match. Wow, that was a lot more effort than I was uh, hoping to put out. I got a fairly busy schedule coming up and I did not want to take that kind of abuse in there. My endurance was not up to snuff for that event, you know. It happens, you take a match on short notice, you know, you're, we were all beat up. If you're arm wrestling at any type of competitive level, Chances are you've been injured for years and years. I, I haven't been injury free in probably eight years now, but that's just the game that we all play. We do it anyways, you figure out where it hurts, work around it, you know. So all in all, I was able to pull it to win. Not easy though. My opponent, as usual, instead of going with, you know, the normal responses to when you lose a match, you know, you congratulate your opponent, good job, you're the better guy today. He comes up with his typical line of douchebaggery saying, I got lucky on fouls. When I'm holding him above the pin line and he's picking his arm up, how am I getting lucky and winning on fouls? He was intentionally fouling. And whenever he was trying to pin me and I was out on the defensive side, my arm wasn't going down there until he drags his arm right off the back of the pad. Maybe you could just say, you know what? You're better than me, instead of saying I got lucky. But whatever, I'm a little bit of a classier fellow than he is. So I will give him credit where it's due. He did a fantastic job. He came in, uh, not what I expected. I was actually expecting him to be the stronger guy right out of the gates and then me to have to kind of catch up after wearing him down a little bit. You know, realistically, the guy's a good arm wrestler. Wow, maybe not good, but he is fucking strong. He's got wins on Ryan SB and Sean Latimer and like some pretty tough dudes. And he is a national champion. So all in all, I am happy with my win, but I was not expecting for me to come out way ahead and then for me to be the one start gassing out. And my hand, I couldn't feel my hand after round two. And uh, I ended up really getting strung out and having a fight from some really, really shitty spots. I really had to dig deep to get through it. So congratulations to Yannick. He fought super, super hard. It was, it was good. Any type of new guy getting into this sport, you know, I tell all the new guys on my team, when I try to coach them and teach them, train them properly, learn how to arm wrestle smart and safe and not hurt yourself, I always let them know, don't ever watch me competing extremely reckless positions in the matches. Extremely reckless positions in the matches. I felt fine in the match, but after re-watching, it's kind of tough to figure out how my arm didn't explode at some point in there like uh, I was in some pretty dangerous spots there if uh, your arms not conditioned to take that kind of stuff but we do work on that kind of thing we put ourselves in those bad positions in a controlled scenario to work on you know bone density and strengthening those ligaments inside of your elbow to make sure they don't let go when you get there in competition so you know it's kind of what you got to do to get there, but I would just advise people not to arm wrestle like that. It hurts. And now I have got to get back to work and back to practice tonight. Start fixing up all this damage, get some blood flow moving. Get some beers into me. Thin the blood a little bit. Thin blood moves faster. Helps fix shit. Plus, in a Bud Light, there's not really alcohol in it, I don't think, so... All it is is nutrients. It's probably pretty good for you, I think. Either way, congratulations, Yannick. You did a fantastic job. 
I feel like I was run over by a bus. Super, super fucked up. And I just did a super match on Wednesday as well against Devin, so my left arm is beat to shit. I entered the tournament both hands. I'm going to get that uh, footage ready to go over the next day or so so we can get that up. Um, the super match itself, we did go live for. You can find that on my channel. I would link it, but I don't know how to do all that stuff. Um, but we are going to take that video and we'll edit it down so that you can watch just the match, you know, with some before interviews and after. Um, so you can see why my arms are so fucked up. But either way, we had a great day. We had another one of the guys on the team. He came out and he pulled in his first real event in, I don't know, 10 years he, since he's been arm wrestling. And he did real good. Uh, I think he finished, ah, well. We'll see where he finished whenever we put those videos out. And then, uh, yeah, I got to get heading to practice, so we'll see you soon.